have my skincare routine video. And I've held off for a long time on doing a skincare video, really just because I hadn't really fallen into a routine yet. So I think I finally kind of got the same thing going on month after month, and I'm happy with it for once. So I figured this would be a great time to share it with you guys, especially right before the new year, just kind of like a maybe if you're looking for maybe a new face wash or a new makeup remover or something like that, it'd be a great time to start a new routine. So I will share with you what I do. Of course, keep in mind, everyone's skin is so, so different. So something that works wonderfully for me might be terrible for your skin. So keep that in mind. But um, if you're someone that's been watching me a while and you know that a lot of the recommendations I've given you have worked well for your skin as well, then you'd probably really like a lot of these products. So and all of them are really inexpensive, so you're welcome. Okay, so one of the first things that I do when I'm washing my face at night, I really, I wash my face at night, I really don't wash it in the morning. Um, I noticed that when I used to do it morning and night, my skin would just get really, really dry, as if, even if I was just kind of rinsing it off in the morning, it would just really affect my skin in a negative way, and it would be really kind of blotchy. So I finally just stopped doing it in the morning. If I get in the shower in the morning, it depends on if I shower at night, morning. Um, if I'm in the shower in the morning, I might use um, this sponge that I'm going to show you to kind of just help slough off some dead skin cells. But other than that, I really don't wash it in the morning. Um, okay, so the first thing that I do when I'm taking my makeup off is I use some sort of um, waterproof eye makeup remover. I usually don't use waterproof eye makeup, but some of it is just so difficult to get off. I'd rather just use the really strong stuff and get it off in one swoop. So this is the All May Longwear and Waterproof Eye Makeup Remover. It's the kind that has the oil in it, so you have to shake it. I don't love this more than I love any other one. I really like the Maybelline Express one. I really like the um, Up and Up brand one was the one I just finished before this. So for this, I'm not that particular, but I do use some sort of with... Um, some sort of makeup remover with a cotton pad just to get it off. I use one side and then I turn it around, get some more on it and use the other. That way I'm not wasting a ton of these either. Um, so I just do that really just to get my eye makeup remover off or my eye makeup off and that's it. Then I move on to some sort of makeup wipe. A lot of people will use a makeup wipe um, to get their eye makeup off too. This, I just don't because I'd rather just, I don't know. I just never have because I really haven't found one that I love to get all of it off. But this I love to get my face makeup off, and it's the EPL brand Green Tea Cleansing Tissues. They have so many different kinds. This one is the collagen and vitamin E one that I just discovered. I buy these at Big Lots for a dollar for a 30 pack. Um, hold on. Sorry, I'm like dropping all of my little things. Um, I really like these. Like I said, I don't use them to take my eye makeup off though. So if you're looking for one that does that, you might not love these, but they stay really moist. They do a great job getting your face makeup off. I just, I love them and they're so inexpensive. Oh my gosh. So if you have a Big Lots near you, go check it out. They have this kind, this kind, they have aloe vera. Oh my gosh. Um, green tea is my favorite by far. They had a citrus one I wasn't a big fan of, but they have all kinds. So um, all right, so after I take my eye makeup off and my, um, the rest of my makeup off, I typically then wash my face with um, some sort of face wash. Now, this is something I'm excited to mention. I've been trying it out for a decent amount of time because I really wanted to see how it worked with my skin because it seemed weird. This brand called Dr. Sponge, they sent me um, two of their sponges. And I was really skeptical at first because I was very interested in them, but I just didn't understand how they worked. They come and they're hard as a rock, and this is the green tea one, which is said to be good for dry skin, and the one in this box is the pearl powder one, and it's good for dull or uneven skin. Um, this one I haven't used yet, actually, um, because I figured I would use one at a time, but the, I wanted to save this one for maybe the spring, summer, but this, they say they last for like two or three months, depending on how often you use it. Um, I've been using it for a few weeks now, and I have dry skin right here in the winter time and sometimes on my nose, and it was really bad. So when they said that they were gonna send these to me, I was like, okay, definitely a dry skin one would be great. So what you do is you take this, it's hard as a rock, you just put it in your sink, turn on your hot water. After about 30 to 45 seconds, it'll get completely soft, and it'll grow just a little bit, and it'll be like a wet sponge. Now this is made from natural things. Um, I, where does it say what it is? It's so interesting. Okay, I'm gonna probably butcher some pronunciations. Um, cognac, it's K-O-N-J-A-C, cognac or cognac, 
is an exotic plant native to Asia. For centuries, it's been used in varieties of Asian cuisines and medicines for its natural richness in protein, vitamin, potassium, iron, iron, and many skin benefiting ingredients, which are wonderful nutrition for healthy and balanced skin. So this is made with pure and food grade cognac or cognac fiber. So it's an all natural product and you guys, it is amazing. I haven't had any dry skin issues basically this entire month of December. It has been, oh my gosh, in every winter I suffer from this dry skin and so any foundation I put on, no matter how I apply it, it always kind of, you know, after a couple hours looks really dry up there. I have had no issues. I mean, none. It is, this is the first thing I have discovered that works and it's really, really cheap. I don't know the exact price, but I'll list it below. It's really inexpensive. It's so exciting. So this is definitely something, although they sent me these for free, I will be buying this once I run out of this because I've never seen anything like it and I'm so glad that it's inexpensive. So I really like this for dry skin, the green tea one. The pearl powder, like I said, it's for uneven and dull skin tone. So I'll have to get back to you on how that works. Um, but they come with like the little ropes. You can hang it in your shower. It's, it's just fantastic. And they say you can use this with or without a cleanser. I've used it both ways. So when I use it in the shower, I don't use it with the cleanser. I'll just use it to get it off because by then I've already cleaned my face anyway. Um, but if I'm using it during my regular skincare routine, I use it with my favorite face wash, which is the Johnson's Baby Head to Toe Wash. Now I have a big, huge one in my, um, with like a pump in my bathroom. But this one I usually fill up to take with me um, when I travel. However, it always spills. Ugh. Anyway. The reason I love this is because it is the most gentle thing in the world. If you don't have really bad skin problems or you don't have really bad acne, but you just notice maybe a little bit of unevenness or just few breakouts, this is wonderful. It's just gentle. It gets everything out of your pores and out of your skin. It just feels fresh, but it doesn't feel too dry and tuggy on your skin. And it's just so nice with this because this gets rid of any dead skin cells. This cleans your pores. It's just, it's a really nice, uh, just a sensitive way to clean your skin. Now, when I feel like I do need a little bit more, I reach for my Palladio facial scrub. Um, I really do like this, and I mentioned it I, in my Palladio video where I reviewed a ton of different products, um, that I do like this. It's formulated with aloe vera and green tea. Clearly I like green tea because this sponge is green tea, my facial wipes are green tea, and this is green tea. But I really, I notice it really does wonders with my skin. Um, this has the um, like the little exfoliating beads in it. it, has a really nice smell, all the beads, it's not too rough, but it's just the right amount. So when I notice maybe I've got some blackheads or anything like that, I'll reach for this stuff just because it's a little bit stronger. But these are my two favorite face washes, and this I've been using for years, I just love it. Um, okay, so if I feel like I need, um, before my face wash, if I feel like I, I have more makeup on and maybe the wipes didn't do well, the toner that I typically use is 100% Witch Hazel. This is Dickinson's brand. Um, I bought this, I think, at Walgreens. Meyer sells it. Um, you can pretty much find it anywhere. It's inexpensive, maybe a couple bucks. Um, and it's just non, it even says it's non-drying. It doesn't dry your skin. I know a lot of other toners that I've used, for me, they just really kind of wreck up my skin. So this is gentle. I don't use it all the time, but if I feel like maybe when I'm in a show and I wear a lot of makeup, I use this to make sure, before I wash my face, I use this to make sure I've gotten all the makeup off, especially here in my hairline, um, and just like in little crevices where it's not as easy to get to. So I use this with a um, cotton pad, and I'm good to go. I love this stuff. It lasts forever. Okay, um, so when I do have a breakout, which of course happens all the time, and it's usually in this region, <laughs> um, I reach for my tea tree oil. And um, this is the brand Jason. I bought it at Meyer. I think it's sold in a lot of places. You can get tea tree oil anywhere. You can get it at um, health food stores and things like that. But you'd be surprised where you'd find it. So it's pretty cool. Um, this, it smells like, like peppermint almost. You know, it's really, really strong. I use a Q-tip with it. And I'll usually, if it's really bad, I'll just use it straight up. And I'll get the, some on the Q-tip and just put it right on the breakout. Um, Technically, you should put a little bit of water on it. So if it's not that bad, I'll put like a drip of water on it and a drip of this because this really is pretty harsh. So you don't want to be wiping your skin with it or anything crazy like that. But tea tree oil, I might do a whole video on all the benefits of tea tree oil because there's so much you can do with it. It's kind of insane. But I really love it for breakouts. It dries them up overnight like crazy, but it's a more natural way to do that. Um, and it smells good. It's certainly strong, but it smells good. Um, so I love that. Now, for moisturizing my face, I have a few different things. 
For my eye cream, I'm still using my Mogador Nurturing Eye Cream. I bought this at Marshall's. Um, some people have said they found it online, but just find an eye cream you really like. Put it on morning and night. The, I used to only do it at night, um, but I've started to do it in the mornings because, you know, I'm, yes, I know I'm only 24, but, you know, you start to notice little things and you really, no matter what age you are, you should take care of your skin. So one great way to do that is to moisturize, especially in your under eye area. When I put it on, I tap it on. I don't rub it or anything like that because you do want to be gentle with that skin. You don't want to pull on it, and that's something I'm working on because um, I didn't always do that, but I'm trying to be better about it. Um, I really like this. I love the way it smells. Um, it's lasted me a long time because you really don't have to use that much. Um, and I even put it not only here, but I even put it here. I remember when I was first taking a makeup class like five or six years ago, I remember learning that when you get older, I was learning how to do old people makeup, you know, um, to make yourself look old, not <laughs> anyway. Um, I remember learning that this skin here even um, starts to kind of sag. So right when I learned that, I was like, I am going to start moisturizing there too. I don't know if it'll help, but I figure it's worth a shot. So I just moisturize all around. <laughs> um, anyway, okay. So for my all over face moisturizer, morning and night, I use my Vital Care Vitamin E Cream. I have talked about this since I started my channel. It's like $2.80 at Big Lots. Big Lots has some good skincare items, but this is my favorite. It's a huge jar. It lasts me like half of a year, if not a whole year. I'm almost done with this one, actually. It's just... Vitamin E cream. It's simple as pie, it, but vitamin E is so good for your skin. It just, my skin, once I started using this about a year ago, it was just like, wow, my skin's actually soaking it in. When I wake up in the morning, my skin still feels nice and moisturized. It's just, it lasts all day. It works really well under makeup. It doesn't make you look too oily. If you have really oily skin, it might, but um, I'm kind of a combo, and it, it doesn't make my skin look oily at all, even if I put it on right before I put on foundation. Um, so you really don't have to even let it sink in for that long. I love this stuff, and it's so cheap. From that same brand, Vital Care, this is their vitamin E oil. You can get vitamin E oil anywhere. It doesn't have to be this brand. I use this when I'm really, really dry. So I've used this a few times um, this winter, especially, like I said, in this region where I get really dry. It's just a really concentrated vitamin E. So you could even take vitamin E oil, and probably, I don't know how well it would mix, but I bet you could mix this with your own moisturizer just to add a little bit more. Um, so that's always a thought. Oils are just so great, just like tea tree oil, because there's just so many different ways, things you can mix them with, and you can just make your own kinds of skincare things that you just, that are perfect for your skin, that are catered to your skin. Whew, did I get through it all? That's my skincare routine. I'm sure that seemed long, but I don't do every single one of those every single day, but just to kind of show you the different ins and outs of what I use and when I use it and what problems I have and what to do about them. I hope that was helpful and beneficial for all of you. I would love to know your skincare secrets. Please list them below because then we can all read them and learn even more about different ways to take care of our skin because our skin, what are they, isn't it the largest organ in the body or, um, is that, yeah. Um, we have to take care of it and you know as time presses on our skin gets older our skin you know it takes on a lot of the elements so we've got to take care of it right ladies anyway i'll catch you guys very soon bye